I have a clip for you of Donald Trump getting absolutely mocked in the most hilarious way and in a way that will destroy him inside, tear him up. It's of Joe Biden and the NFL champions, including Tom Brady at the White House. Let's watch the clip and then we'll talk about it. It didn't look great there. At one point, we were seven and five, struggling a little bit, um, as the president alluded to. Um, but we found our rhythm. We got on a roll. Not a lot of people, uh, you know, think that we could have won. And um, in fact, I think about 40 percent of the people still don't think we won. I understand. That. You understand that, Mr. <laughs> president? I understand that. Yeah. And personally, you know, it's nice for me to be back here. We had a game in Chicago where I forgot what down it was. I lost track of one down in 21 years of playing. And they started calling me Sleepy Tom. <laughs> Why would they do that to me? <laughs> and so that's objectively hilarious. Tom Brady is basically like, our victory was so unbelievable that almost half the country doesn't think we won. And then Biden chimes in by saying, I can understand that. And then Tom says, you can understand that, Mr. President. And then he makes a joke about Sleepy Tom because he made one small mistake. And, you know, Tom Brady is old, at least as far as NFL champions go, as NFL players go. So it's sort of another joke about Joe Biden being Sleepy Joe. It's objectively funny. But this is actually really important. Because not only do I, and I'm sure most of you, absolutely love to see Trump torn down a peg, yet again, the context here makes it all the more delicious. Remember, Donald Trump loves the admiration of his fellow elites. We know this. We talk about it. I always say that while Trump pretended to hate the elite, pretended to hate the people that had all the power, and he was supposedly the common man's president, he always wanted to be accepted in those elite circles. And so it always really offended Donald Trump more than any other president when teams and athletes wouldn't come to the White House after they won championships. Certain NBA teams and other leagues, you know, their champions didn't go to the White House because Donald Trump was so antagonistic to minorities and the marginalized. And in some of these sports, a majority of the team are made up of, say, black men or people of color, and they didn't want to associate with Donald Trump, which is their right. And I think the correct decision. And Trump hated that. And he also saw Bill Belichick, a coach he really admires, you know, not even come to the White House to accept an award from him because by that point, Donald Trump showed himself to be an absolute menace to democracy. And so this is very much the moment where you can see Joe Biden in a very, very diplomatic way rubbing Trump's face in his loser attitude, because this is something that would only happen because Trump is an absolute whiny baby loser. If Trump would have conceded defeat and took his loss like a man, like a decent person, Tom Brady would not be making fun of him. Joe Biden would not be making fun of him. That wouldn't be happening. They would make some jokes and kid around about other things, but they wouldn't mock the ex-president because that would be seen as cruel. But Donald Trump deserves mockery. He deserves derision because he was such a scumbag himself. This is a man that made a mockery of democracy, and now he's the joke. I don't think we should take the big lie as a joke. That's not the message of this video. The big lie is very serious, and we need to confront it for 2022 and 2024, because the Republicans want to destroy democracy. But in this moment, I can think of nothing that will hurt Donald Trump more than this. And I like that.